This is Chris Perguidi and Erica Savensi. And we're covering the San Jose Supercon. This is the first day of the San Jose Supercon and everything's looking really cool right now. So what are you looking forward to seeing most, Erica? I'm looking forward to seeing comics and what people are selling, the artists, stuff like that, and interviewing people. I'm looking forward to seeing all the hot girls in costumes. So are you going to dress up in costume? Uh, no, because I'm only 14. So, Chris, is it true that you're Zack, the Lego maniac? I don't know why people keep asking me that. Well, you kind of look like him. He's doing the goggle thing. So we're going to move over to Artist Alley and talk to some of the artists. Hi, America, and I'm here with Sergio Arganes. So, sir, do you want to tell us a little bit about yourself? Well, I'm from Mexico, and I came to the States in 62, and I've been working with Mad Magazine since then. So that makes it over 40 years working for the same magazine, yes. So you want to tell us uh, about your comics a bit? Like, what are they about? Sure, and I started doing comics in the late 60s. And my comic now that I do is called Gru the Wanderer, which is a very silly barbarian, who uses the sword instead of using the brain so nothing comes out right, because he's a very stupid barbarian, and he wanders around with his dog and everything he touches gets destroyed because he doesn't think. Um, so is there anything that you're currently working on? I'm still working for Mad, I'm still working on Gru, and I'm doing also The Simpsons comics for Bongo. I'm doing stories and drawing my stories. And of course there's always the freelance posters and advertisements and uh, it's a full palette. I'm pretty busy. So, uh, what influenced you to do uh, drawing and art? Uh, we usually start as a kids. When when I was a very very young kid, I don't remember not drawing. I was always drawing, and probably animation, the comic strips, comics, and slowly I tended to have more interest in humor. Other my colleagues, they went for the superheroes and for action. An adventure. I went more for the funny haha stuff and the funny animals and things like that. So eventually I ended doing cartoons. Yeah, I, I started publishing in Mexico in 1954 out of high school. The camera was knocked over by a dinosaur. Uh -oh. um, is there anything that you would like to say to some of your fans? Anything that you're working on or coming out? Well, the, we're working on the movie, the Gru movie, and uh, that takes a long time. We've been working on the, mostly the lawyers, as they've been working. And now we think that the whole thing is all done, so very soon we'll start pre-production on the Gru movie. And uh, I will still do Gru, and I will still do Mad, until I cannot do it anymore. So you want to tell us any of the history of what you've been doing and work that you have done? It's so much of it. it. It is 50 years of material. So imagine Mad alone, this, this is 1962, every month. So there's tens of thousands of cartoons. Comics, Gru alone is over 27 years old. I, started, I did a lot of pages for DC Comics all the way from 68 to now. So my body of work is very large. I have published over 70 books. Uh, so people who want to know, they can go into the internet or the computer, just Google my name or anything, and then you, you get an earful of, of stuff that i done, you know. Is there anything that you want to say to the... These fans are impossible. Is there anything that you want to say to the young artists out there? To persevere, sometimes it's difficult because the economy doesn't allow many young people to, to show their work or to, to get published. But the only thing they have to do is get better. I have never found anybody that's good at what they do without a job, no matter what they are. If you are a good singer, you get a job. If you are a good artist, you work. If you are a good engineer, you work. Because they need good people. So if you're a cartoonist, get better, practice. If you're a musician, sit more at the piano and practice until you're better than the guys that you love, and then you'll get their job. 
But you have to practice and get better. Take it seriously. Do it. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you for letting me interview you. It's been a pleasure. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. And we're off.